Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is function recursion. And also I will explain how to find factorial of a number by using recursion. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is function recursion. Function that calls itself is known as recursion. But what is use of this recursion? By using recursion, we can loop statements that are present inside the function. I'll give an example so that you can clearly understand what is use of this recursion. For example, let us create one function. As you know, we will create function by using keyword that is def define. So at first write def and you can give any name to your function. Let function name be fun. A given function name as fun. As we know, we will represent function in brackets and give colon. After giving colon, inside this function, I'm writing statement that is print hello. Print in double quotations hello because hello is string so write this in double quotations and after creating function we need to call this function in order to get output so how can we call this function just by giving function name a given here function name as fun so just write here fun and there is no need of giving semicolon whenever you run this code you will get output that is hello whenever you call this function at first it will search this function as yes, this function is present here so inside this function i written a statement that is print hello so whatever the statement that i written inside this function will be executed this is use of function function that calls itself is known as recursion so this function fun is calling itself so just write here fun that means this function fun is calling itself and you need to write this function inside this function not outside so whenever you run this code at first it will print hello so after writing hello i return fun so fun is present here so again it will go to this function and again it will print hello and again it will call this function fun and again control goes to function and again it will print hello and it will keep on repeating this statement hello and there is no end for this by using recursion you can loop statements that are present inside this function this is use of recursion next i will explain how to find factorial of a number by using recursion for example i want to find factorial of number 5 for example 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 you should start from that number and you need to keep on multiplying by decrementing each value until 1 and whenever you reach 1 you need to stop this is how we find factorial so result is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 120 for example, if I want to find factorial of 6, so 6 factorial is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 720. This is how we find factorial. But I want to find factorial by using Python program. For example, I want to find factorial of number 5. So right here, n equal to 5. I want to get output like this. Factorial of 5 is 120, where 5 is stored in variable n. So here I written n equal to 5 and write print factorial of, where this factorial of is string. So write this in double quotations. So whatever text you write in double quotations, it will be seen on my output screen, comma. This 5 is present in variable n. So right here, n, comma, is where easy string take this in double quotations comma this 120 is result in order to get result i will write this result in function let function name be fact because i want to find factorial so i given here function name as fact you can give any name i want to find factorial of 5 where 5 is present in variable n so right here n i should get output like factorial of 5 is 120 where 120 is result and i am writing program in order to get this result 120 in, inside this fact function so i am writing separate code for this as we know we will create function by using keyword that is def define so right here def here a given function name as fact so write same here fact of n now i need to write code inside this function in order to get result 120 i am writing if condition inside this function so after giving some space right if n double equal to 1 return 1 this is break condition that means whenever we reach 1 we need to break this this is exit condition like Whenever we reach 1, we need to stop this. Else, return n into fact of n minus 1. This is program in order to get output. That is factorial of 5 is 120. I will explain how this program will work. Here I want to find factorial of 5. Now n contains value 5. So n value is 5. 5 is placed here. So 5 is not equal to 1. 5 is greater than 1. So it will skip if part and it will execute else part. So in else part I return, return n into fact of n minus 1. That is n value is 5. So I will get output that is 5 into 
fact of n minus 1 mean 4 factorial. Here this function fact is calling itself. So whenever function call itself, it will keep on repeating that statement. So again, so 4 is placed here and next 4 is not equal to 1. So it will print else part that is 4 into fact of n minus 1 that is 3. So 4 into 3 factorial. Now I want to find fact of 3. So 3 is placed here and 3 is not equal to 1. So it will skip this if part and it will execute else part. Inside else I written n into fact of n minus 1 that is 3 into fact of 3 minus 1 that is 2. So 3 into 2 factorial. Now again I need to find fact of 2. So 2 is placed here and 2 is not equal to 1. It will skip this if part and it will execute else part. Inside else part I written n into fact of n minus 1. Now n value is 2. So 2 into fact of 1. 1 factorial. So now I want to find fact of 1. 1 is placed here. Yes, 1 is equal to 1. So it will return this one and it will stop this. So I will get output that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that equal to 120. So this result is placed here that is 120. So I will get output like factorial of 5 is 120. For example, instead of directly giving value 5, you can also give value after program execution. So in place of writing n equal to 5, you can write int input of enter number. So instead of directly writing n value is equal to 5, you can also write like this int input of enter number. By using input function, you can enter any number and I want to enter only integer number. So I given here type as int. So whenever you execute this code, you will get output that is enter number and here you can enter any number like if you enter 6, then you will get output like factorial of 6 is 720. Here in place of return 1 and return n into fact of n minus 1, you can also use print function like print 1 and print n into fact of n minus 1. But here I want to print function fact. So whenever you want to print any function, then you need to use return type. So I given here return 1 and return n into fact of n minus 1. 